fresh rock and roll from the Tisdales, the artistic legacy of Joe Gieschik and improv artist Adam Sipola. That's your playlist tonight. Funding for the playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. The Tisdales are a forceful, forceful foursome. Some say it's the loudest band in town. Please welcome the Tisdales to the playlist. <laughs> Find out what's in store for the Tisdales and hear more music after this. We're here at the Duluth Playhouse where opening shortly is The Royal Family by George S. Kaufman and Edna Ferber. And we're the first of the summer shows this year. And it's a wonderful comedy, classic American comedy about a pretty odd theater family based loosely on the Barrymore family. Uh, some very contemporary issues in it. The women of the family are the breadwinners, trying to figure out balancing family and career and how do you do that, what's more important, and do you have to give something up to have the other, and it's funny. The County Seat Theatre Company in Cloquet, Minnesota, performing at our own lovely Encore Performing Arts Center and Gallery, is presenting The Gin Game by D.L. Coburn. 
Uh, this play opens on June 8th. It's a two-person cast with Mary Smith and Michael Rosen. Uh, this play is full of everything that you would want in a lovely summer production. It has a beautiful set, fine acting, lots of humor, and very meaningful drama. We're at Renegade Comedy Theater, and we're putting on a production of Tennessee Williams' Summer and Smoke, and his rewrite of that show, The Eccentricities of a Nightingale. Both stories are about unrequited love, and it's a chance for the audience to see two versions of Tennessee Williams' take on unrequited love. The County Seat Theater Company at the Encore Performing Arts Center is presenting its own encore performance of Wiley and the Hairy Man by Jack Stokes. This is our award-winning play, and we have been invited to be the only representative of the United States at the World Festival of Children's Performing Arts in Toyama, Japan. Hair, the musical at the Duluth Playhouse. You should see it because it's filled with uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's high energy, young, passionate people asking questions. It's good, really good. You'll be touched too. The name of the show is Sideshow. It's at the Harbor City International School and it's done through Lundin Productions. Oh, it's a fantastic show. It has great music. Uh, and it's about two conjoined twins, Daisy and Violet Hilton, which is their two true ladies who grew up in the Depression and started uh, in a sideshow as freaks, and then they move on to vaudeville. And it's just about overcoming adversity and staying true to who you are, and these two ladies had to maintain individual personalities, though they were joined at the hip. Well, that's just six of the many shows coming your way this summer. Check the schedule at your favorite theater or discover a new one and make a point to see some shows this season. Now, there's a must-see art exhibit currently on display at the Edge Center Gallery in Big Fork. It features the artistic legacy of Joe Gieshek. He was an incredibly talented painter who drew powerful images from his Native American culture. This interview, recorded for Native Report in 2006, it's a wonderful introduction to Joe Gieshek, the artist. Well, I went to school basically to learn anatomy. I was basically learning about compositions and color compositions, but uh, in later years, after, after working in landscapes and still lifes, you know, I, after finding myself involved with these ceremonies and becoming more spiritually involved in, in my own spiritual ways, I sort of ran into my own technique when I was living in Reno, actually. I was basically working with brush at that time, and then one night I was, I started to experiment with, uh, with my palette knife. And I was using, even using a table knife at one time. If you're painting on canvas, and you hear that sound of canvas on your brush, it's unfinished. So from that point on, I started uh, using a brush letting it dry, and then going over again with a pellet knife and totally covering the canvas. But at the same time, using my color combinations so that they would echo through each section of the painting. And that's what creates that, uh, that spiritual effect that people feel. Joining me now is Steve Primo, a friend and colleague of Joe Gieshek's. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you yeah. for taking the time. It just uh, <laughs> it kind of shook me to hear Joe again. So I just, yeah, and so. I know he's been gone, and he made such an impact on the people who knew him. Oh yeah, oh definitely. Yeah, his uh, his legacy is is uh, an incredible one. Yeah. So tell me about what makes his work powerful for you. Uh, for me personally, it, it, it just reflects who he was. He was just a silent uh, uh, strength and uh, 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 cultural icon, um, basically just reflecting his, uh, his uh, spirituality. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was incredible to see him work and visit his studio and talk to him. And you know, it was, uh, uh, he was a great guy. I was going to ask, so what did he, what, what did he teach you? Um, well, our styles, you know, I, I paint and our styles are, 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 are different, but uh, his, uh, his, uh, 
what he taught me was to uh, uh, just a word. Actually, you know, he was so prolific. Some of the um, some of the things in the show are uh, the, from his sketchbooks, and other shows you don't see that. Um, so um, I would encourage people to uh, stop by and uh, check it out. It's uh, uh, it's quite encompassing with the, the things they have in, in the show. So I know the show is called Journeys, and it actually opens um, June first, which right. is tomorrow night. Tomorrow. And it's got 24 of his pieces from private collectors and, and probably never will be assembled in one place again, right. exactly oh, like it this. Was, uh, it was uh, the, the outpouring of support uh, from the people that were asked to uh, uh, donate some of the works. It was, it was incredible. And uh, uh, like I said, um, he took uh, sketches from his studio and uh, uh, paired it with some of the paintings that are on, on display. And so what makes his imagery so impactful? Because they're powerful no matter what culture you're from. Yeah, <laughs> oh, definitely. Um, the, the subtlety, the subtle strength uh, that, that he um, uh, grabbed <laughs> on the canvas, is, it, it was, um, uh, just makes you stop and think and, you know, just, just to reflect in your own uh, uh, spirituality. So, yeah, he uh, he's an incredible guy. So, what do you think? Who will benefit most from going to see this show? Um, everybody. Uh, it's it's a look into a uh, 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 the uh, spirituality of uh, the natives or, uh, around the, the area. I mean, it's uh, he was from the area. He he moved back to the area and painted and uh, uh, gave a glimpse of what he, uh, he uh, went through. So, The simple strength that's oh, in yeah. those images is really inspiring. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. thank you. I know you're going to be up there, yep. and you've had your fingers in, um, <laughs> helping kind of pull it together, well, and yeah, Karen Furlock and Leanne Karen as Furlock, well. And Leanne, his wife, and Karen is the director, uh, is the director of the uh, gallery in, in Big Fork, and uh, um, it's... Uh, People think Big Fork, what's in Big Fork, but it's an incredible, incredible uh, gallery that they have. So, so. And this is a perfect show. To, if you've never been there, this is the show to go see. So thank oh, you. Definitely. And safe travels and journeys. Oh. And thanks for taking the <laughs> well, time for you. us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I just want to remind you that the Joe Gieshik exhibit, Journeys, is on display at the Edge Center for the Arts Gallery in Big Fork for the month of June. Now, there's a spiritual sense to the music of Adam Sippola. He layers influences from various sources and cultures on the spot in improvised performances. Check out the music of Adam Sippola. I First and foremost, I perform and I sing and uh, enjoy music because it's transformational. I really thrive in that improvisational realm. Uh, my name is Adam Sipola. I'm from Duluth, Minnesota. And um, usually gravitate towards uh, saying that I'm a musician first and foremost. I write poetry and uh, a lot of the poetry or the writing that I do is ends up in lyrics or in music. The, the main umbrella would be musician, but I also do theater, I'm an actor, and um, do some directing. For somebody who does musical theater, I find a lot of musical theater to be more on the cheesy end, <laughs> but the ones that I really enjoy being a part of are telling a little bit deeper story, like Parade is a great example. The issues that it deals with, with um, uh, kind of racism and xenophobia, are very relevant still today, unfortunately. Good morning. 
it does take a lot of energy, but I find that the more energy I put into it, the more that I get back out of it. To sit and sing for an hour and improvise and uh, perform music, um, just the, the amount that I'm getting instantly in the moment is, is tremendous. I started playing cello when I was five and then was singing all through my youth. Our family was really musical. My dad was always playing piano, singing, and um, so singing quickly became a regular part of my life also. But I kind of grew up classically on the cello and then that was kind of a foundation for a lot of other things. For me, it's about this creative source of the universe and like to know and to love that source. It's all for the love of it. It's for that, that human uh, kind of heart to heart and mind to mind um, connection that, that happens with good art and with good um, music, good expression. By the water, More art profiles and music performances are posted on our website, theplaylistonline.org. Please share your ideas for next season on our submission page. Your input is always welcome. The most up-to-date information is posted on our Facebook page. Go ahead and like us there and spread the word. There's a lot of arts news to share. In our gallery tonight, the work of Aaron Kloss and Sarah Balbin. The two are among the artists with work at the Blue Lake Gallery here in Duluth. We want to thank all the artists and galleries who've taken the time to share their artwork this season. It is truly inspiring. And now, without further ado, please welcome back the Tisdales. Oh, 
Much Ritz and Rich Manson of the Tisdales. Will you do a quick introduction for me? We've got Tony Derrick on the guitar and vocals, Jason Kokel on the bass, and Derek Rolando on the drums. Fantastic. Well, welcome to the playlist. Now, Thanks Derek, here's the question for you. You guys share some Tony songwriting Derek. duties. Tony, Tony <laughs> thank you. Um, tell me a little of uh, the backstory on Monkey Bars, this last song. Oh, well, it was just a song, uh, I think it was after it was two homegrowns ago. Me and Rich are sitting around at my house after the kickball game and sitting around with my, with my daughter Sadie and she just came up with this, you know, monkey bars across the sky and immediately there was like this song in my head. So I finished it. It took about a year but finally I finished it and uh, so co-written by Sadie Derrick. Fantastic. So Dad, wouldn't it be cool yeah. if we had monkey bars <laughs> across the sky? He, he took it to a whole new level. That's awesome. I took it to a new level, yeah. And it's on Sometimes the latest? It's on the latest release, Super Caldera. So where Super do we get Caldera. a hold of this? Uh, go to our website, thetisdalesrock.com. There's a link there to CD Baby. It's also on iTunes. Okay. And tell me, when you play next, what's your upcoming gigs? June 22nd at Tycoons with Dave Rave. Not to miss. And how busy is your summer? What do you got cooking? Well, we've got that, the 22nd, and then uh, July 7th at Your Mother's. Your mother's place in Gilbert, Minnesota. We're, we're going to be part of the Iroma Showcase. There's going to be six original bands from the Iron Range playing there okay. over, the, over the whole weekend. So, For those who don't know That's what Iroma is, it's the Iron Range Original Music Association, yeah. which you're a founder a of. of that. Three, three quarters of this band is Iron Rangers. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That one's Scotty. You're going to recruit. Wisconsin boy. You'll recruit the rest, though? It's awesome. All right. Yeah. I know you got one more song for us. Thank you yeah. very much for taking the time. It's really fun. Thanks for having us. Yeah. This now next one's more or less an instrumental. <laughs> yeah, but it's really a roundup. Now you can look for the Tisdales <laughs> playing somewhere near you this summer. And thank you for watching tonight. Remember to take advantage of the great arts and music shows in our community. Enjoy the original creative work all around you. Have a great summer. Gentlemen, it's all yours. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm.